Okay, so uh, Zari says, Hi, may I know how did you learn trading? Did you take courses or self-study? So, yeah, it's a... Uh, I basically, I learned myself. I learned trading myself. I used to read books also. Still nowadays, I read books, but I don't read books of the tradings anymore. Usually, I read books about the, uh, the psychology, mindset, money management, and athletes, or, uh, you know, poker player, and also chess players, you know, these mindset-related topics, books I read right, right now. But when I was a newbie, I used to read books about the tradings, and also I was learning strategies, but uh, basically I started just, just myself only. I used, to, I, I used to attend seminars and I used to, I used to take some online courses, but uh, basically I learned myself. And this strategy, the KTS, what I call KTS, Hayes Trading Strategy, where I use Ichimoku in higher time frames and entries and exit in the lower time frames, this is my original. I never learned this strategy by someone but simply, I learned myself based on my back testing and also based on my losses, based on my expensive lessons, and then I learned myself. So, what I believe is that I think the best teacher is yourself. Sometimes when you think about the teacher, you might think that somebody else, but uh, it may be true in academic area, but in trading especially, I think the teacher is within yourself. So what I used to do is I track my record, I track my trades. Each trade, I took a screenshot. And which what kind of screenshot I took was I took the entry screenshot and the exit screenshot. And I made some comments. I made comments in terms of how I felt at the time of entry and how I felt at the time of exit. Whether it's a win or loss, I actually put some words in my sentence on each trade and by the end of the month or by the end of 50 trades or 100 trades back testing with a flex tester I look back on these comments and see how I felt on each trade so you have to be very honest on these comments and you can be honest because you don't show it to anyone it's just for yourself but uh, after you review these losing trades and winning trades, you will see patterns. Sometimes you feel like frustrating whenever the market goes backwards. And every time, let's say, every time you lose, you, you put these lines. And then you learn about how to deal with the frustration in the loss. So you can read books about related topics or you can watch some videos of my YouTube and just search frustration trading and watch YouTube and get inspirations and then apply the improvement to the next trace like this so you know uh, we are actually here to not to remember everything right sometimes we lose and we forget we tend to forget, especially if it's a painful experience. We want to forget psychologically. We want to avoid from these stress or uh, frustrations. That's built in the gene, so that's natural. But uh, if you keep doing it, then you won't be learning in your journey and you won't be successful because basically you don't want to see what you, you don't want to see. But sometimes you have to see what you don't have. You do what you don't want to see so that you can learn yourself in this way so that's what I used to do and because I did it uh, when I was losing until I become profitable I keep doing it and that's how I learn myself so yes I have learned about price action how to draw lines about Ichimoku I also read Ichimoku books, original books, and um, you know this is a copy of one of the Ichimoku books. I read the original books also. I still read this maybe 25 times. I read, I still learn something new every time. 
but uh, I read the books. But after all, I think the best, best way to improve your trades is by looking back your own trades. Um, yeah, so yeah, that will be my advice. So when you backtest or when you trade, don't simply just trade, right? If you simply just trade, then I think you're wasting the time. So, but you have to learn on your backtesting, on your trades. And in order to be able to learn from, from your trades, first you have to track your records and then you take screenshots on entry and exit and make comments on yourself and then look back. This is the best way. And then if you keep doing it, then you will see patterns of losing, patterns of winning, and you will learn. You can build up your own strategy in this way. And simply, that's how I did when I was still losing until I become a profitable trader. I hope that makes sense. But uh, it's not a short journey. It will be a long journey, I think. But uh, we have to be patient. We have to sit down, you know, on the... Uh, we have to be, be uh, patient and consistent in that sense. Oh, it looks like today we have some nice comments, nice, nice questions. I like these questions because they, these questions are very deep. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results, whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in the long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and Mata ne!